what if we start shooting weddings i remember charging 40000 bucks for a 7 day wedding in 2002 okay so i've technically inherited everything from my father he was working with bbc radio people loved this new concept of talking to someone in about practice, the biggest yeah. days of their life. it becomes a two way communication yeah. before this it was always a one point you know like you you playing a film and film is not talking to you here the film is talking to you taking you through a journey my father told me that there's an opportunity with ndtv to join them as a camera person and i interviewed there okay and i was the selected as the youngest ever cameraman there i was only 18 then see i, I directly cannot recommend you to a client but why don't you meet my wife she is a wedding planner Okay, perfect. I said, okay, wedding planner, I've never heard of this term. And my father told me that you can do anything, but try and do something that gets you a cash crop. Okay. Which means in the morning or in the evening, you If my bride asks me today, I want to have a tra- 12 shot. You have said, to give yeah, it to her. Yes, baby, why not? Please have, have five 12 shots. I'll give you other different angles of a 12 shot. All thanks to my brother, my partner in crime, Raja, who was technically very sound. I didn't know nothing about technology. I only knew how to tell stories. There's a huge orchestra sitting there. There's a lot of filmy songs. In the eyes of 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 the eyes. The most common and most funny request is to show me a picture. That editing despite of the most uh, tedious tiring, job. tedious job. Brother, you have to edit it now. Of meeting these extremely accomplished people, yeah. extremely awe-inspiring people, whoever is listening. Yeah. Let's let's try and make this wedding about the wedding only. So it's uh, great to have you on uh, this episode of our podcast, sir. And uh, let's start. I want to start off by asking you about uh, your journey. How did this passion come about that you, I think, turned into your work and how did every, everything start? What was like the stepping stone for you? Um, okay, so I've technically inherited everything from my father. He was working with BBC Radio. Okay. He worked with them for 20 years, 1969 to 1989. So he was already a journalist and okay. we had this kind of journalism flowing in our wanes ever since then okay and there was always uh, so and he also formed a television news agency called vision news okay wherein we belong to rajasthan uh, okay. we I belong to rajasthan as well yeah fabulous yeah. so born and brought up in jaipur and all that okay. 20 years so and we were the first ones to start uh, television broadcast as a career my father started that okay and uh, so we always had a camera at home we always had something of news going around us so it, it came out very invariably, very naturally to us that Achha yaar, ye to achhi cheez hai. <laughs> there's a camera at home, you can shoot. We started shooting plays, normal thing that we used to write. Okay. I remember my class 11th project was a, was a short film that I did in 1994. Okay. Which was about uh, advertisements in and around the city of Jaipur. <laughs> and I started that piece to the camera, statching on the statue circle center mount as facing the camera and stuff like that. Uh, so it was all uh, very all much naturally uh, childhood days. Then um, I came to Delhi for pursuing my higher education. And then my father told me that there's an opportunity with NDTV to join them as a camera person. And I interviewed there. Okay. And I was the selected as the youngest ever cameraman there. I was only 18 then. Oh. And so sweet of them that they really offered us a job then. And then I said, okay, then uh, I literally dropped out of the college, <laughs> jumped the bandwagon. <laughs> okay, started and, a job there. And started a job there. And I represented NDTV as a camera person editor from Rajasthan from 1995 to 1999. Okay. So a lot years. of uh, journalism things happened there. And uh, they mentored us so well, so beautifully. Their office was very close, GK Archani. Okay, Archani Complex. Archani Complex. And so we used to come off and on to the office, Mm -hmm. get to understand what television medium is all about and what is that they need of us to showcase a story in a two-minute format. Okay. So that was something that was very interesting for me, that something has to be done so quick, it's shot in the day, to be aired to them by the evening. Hmm. So that was very exciting and we did that for 4-5 years. Then after that, suddenly I was jobless. 
अच्छा क्योंकि उसके बाद एंड देवर दिस स्मॉल पी डी वन फिफ्टी कैमराज सोनीज दिद दिन लॉन्च एन सडनली द एंटायर मार्केट क्रैश बिकॉज वी वो वर्किंग ऑन दोज बिग ब्रॉडकास्ट कैमराज ऑफ सोनी बीटा कैम एंड हाई ब्रांड एंड ऑल दैट एंड सडनली देर कम्स अ वन लैख रुपी कैमरा एंड देन एवरी वन हैज़ दैट एंड देन एवरी वन इज वॉन्टिंग टू परस्यू समथिंग विद दैट एंड देन यू आर जॉबलेस आई देन केम टू डेली एंड स्टार्टड फाइंडिंग आउट वर्क एंड दैस वेन आई रियलाइज दैट we did a bit of fashion we did a bit of documentary we did a bit of uh, independent, corporate independent independently some of corporate work i used to go to these studios in uh, noida to find a freelance job or something like that ki ek din ka dihadi ka cameraman ka kaam mil jaye so 800 1000 bucks was a high paid amount then okay yeah. used to secure one or two but that was about it for the whole month then i realized then we need to do something and that's when my father told me ki tum kuch bhi karo but try and do something that gets you a cash crop theek hai which means subah kaam kiya sham ko paisa aaya i said okay marwadi <laughs> marwadi is yes mere dimag mein wohi aaya so i said okay because whenever we try to do something other than this which was corporate films and others then there was such a huge hierarchy of people that we need to address to pehle inhone dekha fir vice president ne dekha fir unhone dekha then changes used to come this whole process was like a snail mail thing for us and it used to take almost a month month and a half for the payments to come back to us mm-hmm. then uh, we realized that okay what if we start shooting weddings mm-hmm. because that has everything to do with camera yes and we can with our small little experience of television news and everything mm-hmm. we can have a different take on weddings mm-hmm. and that's when i uh, try to find uh, people who could help me to get work for shooting weddings okay uh-huh. i was very uh, dear friends with the the dj at that point in time there was a discotheque uh, in moria called gungrus yes of course uh-huh. so sunny sarit sir was a dj there okay and i struck one point that okay how do i find work in wedding industry is by maybe talking to different vendors who are already working in the industry yeah. makes sense so i i went up to sunny bhai and i said uh, so i i knew him professionally because i used to go there for shoots or something like that okay. on freelance basis mtv used to do a lot of shoots in delhi in, then in gungrus uh, so otherwise in gungrus also. otherwise, otherwise okay. so but but i had shot it gungrus uh, him as a dj playing as a dj for mtv and stuff okay. like that yeah. but just two three times but mm-hmm. it was good acquaintances by then mm-hmm. i said sir i want to uh, shoot weddings and uh, i'm sure people have music playing at weddings and i'm sure you are a star yeah. <laughs> so please get me into your bandwagon some of the other way and that's when he told me that uh, see i directly cannot recommend you to a client but why don't you meet my wife she is a wedding planner okay perfect I said, okay wedding planner never heard of this term <laughs> and i'm talking about uh, 2001 okay yeah. and uh, but then, then went up to her basant kunj office her name was mrs meher sarit i said hi ma'am and uh, i want to shoot weddings she said okay what is that you have to show what to, what have you done i said i have done nothing i have not even shot a single wedding ever since <laughs> um, uh, then she said then how how do you want to go about with it i said i think i want to shoot weddings with a different perspective with some interviews with the bride and groom which was very unheard of those days yeah. in 2001 2002 mm-hmm. she said uh, okay looks promising but anything that you can tell me more about it then i just kept her stories and just build up stories like film messy hogi there will be music there will be opening montage there will be interviews there will be the uh the bride through the journey that she's going through will be interviewed at various vantage points of the wedding mm-hmm. and the father will have his inputs the brother will have something to say it will look like a film so i could sell it off to her and all thanks to her that she believed in us then mm-hmm. and to be something other, that was so new so new mm-hmm. and i was just meeting her for the first time mm-hmm. i mean all my um my heart fills with a uh, lot of gratitude that she gave us a chance then we had nothing to show and to my utter surprise my first meeting was done like uh, she got me across the table for my first client was oh your first client my first client and there were two weddings in the family within the span of 7 days one was monica's his real sisters 
and i met up to the meeting and ma'am said uh, there's this young boy and he wants to shoot your daughter's wedding are hamare paas to already hai ji bolo nahi nahi he will do something different he has these big broadcast cameras and he want to bring about a different take to the wedding and he'll do these interviews and all that to which uh, thanks to that he gave us a chance he said sir i will not disturb your entire crew which is already working there i'll do my bits and i'll disappear okay and he gave me a chance then this was 2002 october and that was the first time that we ever shot a wedding okay and uh, so okay. we had those cameras and but when i entered the field for the first time and it was a huge farm house never seen a farm house in my life <laughs> then and there was so much of setup and dance drama happening uh, shilpa shetty performing live and all that i said what is this which world is this <laughs> didn't know nothing <laughs> and before i could grasp things it started flowing and i said okay maybe now that you're in this pool so just uh, see what's happening and uh, but that uh, thanks to all the thanks to the background of television that my father had taught me all my life you know how to be at the vantage point to take the right shot how to do how to tell a story how to tell a story yeah. so because my father was a journalist he used to write these synopses for bbc and then we always used to overview whatever he's been writing mm-hmm. that really helped us to uh, narrate a story mm. and that narration of a 2 minute a story into a wedding film came very naturally for us and i remember going to their homes and just doing small little bites like the way we are talking putting just a camera on the side and just interviewing them and said forget the camera is there and you just talk to talk, me yeah. tell me how that you feeling tell me what what beautiful things are happening around you isn't it really unreal surreal to finally live it mm-hmm. the way it's happening and things started flowing in and people loved this new concept of talking to someone in about practice, the biggest yeah. days of their life. it becomes a two way communication yeah. before this it was always a, a one point you know like you you playing a film and film is not talking to you yeah. here the film is talking to you taking you through a journey mm-hmm. and whenever you will play it back it will take you through the journey again mm. so 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 that was that and uh, things started flowing in and now we had a demo reel in our hand to showcase to others to showcase others that, oh, what have you done sir we've done mr pond wedding yeah and that's, that wedding that in, in itself is something that can sell something. sell your work yeah. i mean i could uh, believe me i would just say cross my hands thank my stars thank my parents that that was my first break was such a big client yeah. i would have taken my entire 10 15 years to reach that kind of clientele so all thanks to mai sarid who got me to that first client so fast that's insane that's destiny insane. Yeah. yeah if i look back and think about it yeah it was insane that's crazy so what what post so this wedding happened and then then you decided ki this is my calling like i want to do this and yeah so then we enjoy that wedding and uh, but the most important thing was that um so it wasn't out of i'll be very honest in saying it wasn't out of uh, sheer passion only it was more of a survival instinct for yeah, us of course yeah i was married and i was jobless i got married in 2002 february and i was jobless and then my in-laws started asking shaadi <laughs> sab theek hai ghar mein shaadi shoot karoge because it was always looked down upon why would you shoot a wedding then uh, then i said okay let 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 things flow on and uh, before i before i realized what i was into it took me its own stride and slowly from one event to another one wedding to another it started flowing in and thanks all thanks to mahesh sarit that she hand holded me for the first two three years my god mother yeah and i only met all uh, beautiful very accomplished families only rakhi was one of them mm-hmm. rakhi was introduced to me uh, rakhi oswal was introduced to me through meherma acha yeah, oh, yeah i didn't know that yeah okay. so it was all uh, due to uh, meherma that uh, you know things started flowing in i remember charging 40000 bucks for a 7 day wedding in 2002 God is really kind. Yeah. <laughs> Today we charge ten to fifteen lakhs plus GST per day. Yeah, that's what I think. You can just add few zeros to that. To that, that forty thousand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's so, great. Uh, What a story. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So and okay. So one thing that a uh, lot of people say, and I even I've seen in the videos uh, that you put out, is you know, 
it's your it's your job as well to know the exact right moment to capture yeah ki ye bahut acha lagega ye suit karega wo experience se aata hai ya wo wo kaise aata hai so i have always said and i'll always believe that trust the process hmm there are two things that you should always answer yourself very clearly why are we doing what we are doing hmm and are you enjoying doing what you're doing of course so i started shooting weddings because i needed money because it was uh, because i had to support my family yeah. but after three four weddings i realized that it's not just the camera it's not only storytelling it's people that excite me is intrapersonal relationships that we build mm. in that small little course of 3 4 days mm. that excites me knowing your story excites me knowing your father's journey excites me and it's and when you shoot a wedding you're actually part of the most beautiful days of someone's life so sure, sure. the most important most important happiest days so my job is the happiest profession of the world because i am part of the happiest days of someone's lives ah uh, yeah <laughs> amazing yeah <laughs> and and think about it so 3 days i am with one family happiest days of their lives cut to their wedding over another wedding another family their high Happy points days. of their lives so from from the ambanis to the mr sunil mittal to shilpa shetty to deshmukhs everyone but the most common thread that's flowing all throughout is love yeah so if you are shooting all this i agree you shooting for uh, the commercial aspects of it but are you enjoying it shooting it every day this is my 20th year 2022 and i'm still shooting every day i was shooting last night till about 3 am took a 7 am flight back and i'm still fresh and that night still gives me goosebumps because what a beautiful night it was from the outside world of it people think all the weddings look very similar sab mein wahi sangeet wahi sab kuch i agree but have you lived the lives those three days as the couple themselves uh, or maybe as a brother one day or maybe as a father, father. one day hmm. or maybe as a friend one day or maybe as just as a guest one day but you have to live one of these roles during these three days in all honesty to yourself if you can do that or if you can find a method to do that hmm. do it and come out and disconnect but do it with all honesty then believe me it will never be boring for you mm-hmm. you will always be evolving always be growing always be questioning yourself always be wanting to improvise to do something new wedding that we shot yesterday was of one of the three siblings yeah whose first sibling the oldest sibling we shot in 2010 the second sibling we shot in 2016 the third sibling is shooting in 2022 so the beauty is that the family is still retaining you despite of all that has happened in terms of social media There's so much change in the last 20 years everything has changed think about it when we started forget facebook there was nothing uh, we used to have a dvd player with us that we used to go to homes कनेक्ट विद एन आर सी ए केबल टू अ टेलीविजन कि सर आपको फिल्म देखा नहीं लैपटॉप भी अफोर्ड नहीं कर सकते हैव अ लैपटॉप फॉर द फर्स्ट लॉन्गेस्ट सिक्स सेवन ईयर्स देर वॉज दिज ह्यूज अडोबी कंप्यूटर दैट यूज टू एडिट ऑन मेट्रॉक्स आर टी एक्स हंड्रेड वॉज द कार्ड सो ऑल वेरी बेसिक थिंग वी डेंट हैव ओन स्टूडियो वी यूज टू हायर स्टूडियोज और वी यूज टू हायर दोज बिग मशीन्स ब्रिंग डेम होम बिकॉज द रेंटल्स वर लो इन द नाइट सो एडिट इन आर बेडरूम्स and then return the machine back so all those things didn't have our own uh, enough cameras so we had our own basic good three camera setup but we always needed more mm-hmm. so always go out to these uh, equipment rental companies and rent them so first that one hour of going to all of them bringing the equipment hiring an assistant get them on board get them to the farm drive yourself <laughs> then finish your shoot at 2 3 4 am brought them back oh god hectic <laughs> so yeah, yeah yeah but it was all so much fun all thanks to my brother my partner in crime raja who was technically very sound yeah. i was i didn't know nothing about technology i only knew how to tell stories 
I knew how to connect with people. I enjoyed the process, but he was the one who guided me what cameras to use, editing कैसे करनी है, technicalities. Just interrupting you, Nitin. I just want to tell people because many are confused. Yeah. Badal Raja are two people. Yes. Mr. Badal Jain and Mr. Raja Jain, <laughs> who make up the Badal Raja company. Yes. yes. Yeah. Raja is my younger brother. Yeah. My best friend, my longest accomplice. Been. He's just two years younger to me. But ever since I remember, सबसे ज़्यादा मौसी के साथ खेला, मौसी के साथ झगड़ा हूँ, सब कुछ we shared a room. आज होता है ना everyone needs their own space. Own space. space. So this time you. कुछ भी नहीं था. So so Raja has been my guiding light, silent force. He's a very flamboyant guy, very opposite of me. Okay. He drives a Mustang. I have this, <laughs> this, that. Oh, my like them opposite hai. So he brings in different energies to the company also. I'm sure. So he with his own. Um, extrovert um, personality and his exuberance he loves to travel a lot he wants to go to all these exhibitions in the world see how the best albums are made in the world uh, attend those seminars mm -hmm. so uh, and it's it's a beautiful influx of both of our energies that makes our company uh, reach where we've reached mm -hmm. uh, otherwise uh, no no a hard journey alone for sure <laughs> you always need a team You always. I also run a business. You you can't do it without people. Without people, yeah. 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 So coming back to what my question was, yeah, the right moment to capture. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. How does that happen? Feel it. Feel it. You have to just feel it. You have to observe. You have to. Be, you have to delve deep in. Do you interact like before shooting, like uh, before shooting the actual uh, wedding, not the interviews? Mm -hmm. Do you get to know whoever is in the family, who's the closest friend, who's you do all that uh, homework? Ye or? Yes and no, both, because it's very difficult for you to meet them beforehand and even take their list of pictures and stuff. That won't happen. But maybe reaching the venue an hour, hour and a half in advance, hmm. family is always there, yes. and getting some hand notes from them right there Achoo. that you just. Point me out. These are your key people because it's impossible for me to remember the entire maternal paternal side, both the ha, sides. Ha, for sure. So four set of line of uh, close circle. Families, yeah. I meet them there, and you know we do vox pops interviews with them, and that's fine. And then you can connect with them right there, mm -hmm. and that's the time that you realize, okay, this is the core, mm. which is really important for the couple. Mm. But I I think more than that. People who have the spirits any which way take the attention of the Pata camera. Pata lag jata hai ki yeah, 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 I'm sure. Yeah. yeah, and and believe me, there's there's no shortcut to this. You have to be feeling for what you're shooting. Hmm. You have to be in love with what you're doing, and when you are in love with what you're doing, then you want to feel, breathe, smell, behave exactly how that. Event wants us to be. Mm -hmm. You can't just enter that venue as a camera person, yeah, or just as a director. You have to be a part of the family. This is such a social skill-based okay. job. Mm -hmm. You can't fake it to make it, boss. You have to be a part mm -hmm. of what's happening. You have to understand their journey. You have to be one of them, and that will happen very naturally. Very naturally. It looks like oh, it's a job. But the minute you tell yourself that, listen, boss, I have to connect with them, or else how will I tell your story? Yeah, so you have to have that one-hour conversation with them before the event, which we of of course do, so that I have the story. Uh, you know, this is how they met. This is their been their journey, their individual lives. Uh, so that when we shoot them, that we always uh, have a small little questionnaire already answered in our heads. This is what will matter to him. This is what will matter to yeah. her. There was a client we met yesterday, Amit and Reva. They run this company called Kangaroos. They're into uh, stationery. Stapler, yeah, yeah. They're from Ludhiana only. Ludhiana only. Imagine they met at a concert. So I know music is very important to them. Yeah. They met at a concert. The fellow drugged the girl <laughs> to get the girl. <laughs> Stories. Oh my god! But he was so in love. <laughs> But what an amazing story, story. to tell. And I shot their wedding in Sukhvilas, but so beautiful that I already knew this bit about them. So when they are near the bar, I know I have to take certain set of shots that can help me narrate their story. And whenever they are dancing, they were in a different zone. Deep house was his game. Thing. Yeah. So, so it's very important to know your client's story for sure. Yeah. 
that please spend lot. that time yeah. please spend that time yeah you can't just be saying oh because i'm shooting so many weddings so i won't be involved myself or you talk to my secretary or you talk to my no. team so that is another big big plus i would like to proudly own for our company is that we are your one point contact okay even after 20 years rakhi can pick up a phone my oswals can pick up a phone and just just call me madal this is what we need for the smallest of their needs because i don't want to delegate it to my team to of course they are there they'll help me to further filter it out but for you to create the story this is very important very important mm-hmm. i have to connect with them as person so they don't when we when we are there at the event it's not badal or the company that's working it's badal who's working with the nabina or rishab or neha that's about it when i met adish uh, we met in udaipur after i know donkeys and uh, like a month back or so 15 20 days back yeah yeah uh, yeah 15, a month a month back yeah. but i met them after good good long break and i was like adish look at this your 18 years have passed and look at where we are standing <laughs> imagine that's it when you came i said aapne mujhe bhi shoot karayi hai kabhi kabhi yeah exactly as a toddler that's a toddler literally yeah yeah jab koi cake cutting ho raha hoga you must be around like <laughs> doing that bit first i want to taste it <laughs> okay well, how how important this is the shooting part mm-hmm. how important is editing mm-hmm. is it i th- i feel it's equally important to get the story out yeah 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 so like all filmmakers will say the films are actually made on the table hmm so despite of whatever content you have uh, content you have created hmm. um how do you align your story what's your screenplay hmm how would you infuse a particular emotion with the use of music how do you want to use the natural sound as natural as they were how do you want to use the narratives their bites to take the story forward or weave a story mm-hmm. or take them into a flashback or use some old pictures to create something for today all those things in a non linear format can happen only on edit- editing yeah. editing so of course it's the backbone is the backbone yeah and most beautifully is uh, most beautiful idea is so while you're shooting editing is already happening inside your head mm-hmm. because इसको ऐसे करना हां इसको ऐसे कर देंगे इसको ऐसे हो जाएगा लाइट्स इज फ्लेयर ये इसको जंप कट इसका मिल जाएगा और इवन टेक्निकल यू नो लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग्स आर ऑलरेडी हैपनिंग इन योर हेड ओके दिस इज वीव शॉट इन हाई स्पीड दिस विल बी यूज्ड देयर वीव शॉट दिस रूल ऑफ वन थर्ड्स ओके सो द नेक्स्ट रिजॉल्व कैन कम हियर सो मेनी थिंग्स विल हैपन ऑटोमेटिकली एंड इट्स सो um it's so enjoyable the whole process is so beautiful that editing despite of the most uh, tedious tiring job. tedious job bhai abhi edit karni hai <laughs> say dekho edit ho gaya so this process ha, 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 ha. It, and that final product that you get that you get ah. and can you believe it so we have started giving our clients their wedding films within 12 hours of their events That's getting insane. over That so if insane. your mehndi is over within 12 hours you'll have your mehndi film which is a good 3 to 4 minute and it's not a montage mind you it's a proper film proper film with narratives with story with bites with just not the couple but everything that's happening around mm-hmm. and for them to be able to live that within 12 hours and share it with their family friends and thanks to instagram mm-hmm. and other social medium they want to post on share it on and during these special covid times even more important to share it with people who couldn't make it yeah so it's it's wonderful so my next question is uh you do a lot of big fat indian weddings and big fat indian weddings also have a lot of uh tantas you can say people have yeah. weird requests mm-hmm. weird things mm-hmm. so we're going to go through this big fat indian topic but mm-hmm. i'm going to start with initially have you ever had any like weird requests by people ki ये करना है ये करना है यू रिमेंबर कि ये क्या बोल दिया इन्होंने करने के लिए क्योंकि ऐसा होता है ओके द मोस्ट कॉमन एंड मोस्ट फनी रिक्वेस्ट इज मुझे पतला दिख ये तो आई कैन इमेजिन ठीक है अच्छा व्हाट कम्स इन योर माइंड एंड आई लुक एट दैम 
yeah like <laughs> there can be certain angles <laughs> but i'm not a magician and camera doesn't lie yeah <laughs> camera doesn't lie yeah so yeah of course you have to uh, observe absorb at times and yeah. then react and that's what your experience will tell you that don't just react right there huh. listen to them at times i do understand that uh, they are coming with try and understand okay they are living their dream right now these three days they're living a dream yeah. it's a fairy tale for them the bride wants to look the best in the world hmm. forget india kitty in, in, in the world in the world a lot of metrosexual men now are so absorbed that they want to look, just be the you know like perfect yeah the, the perfect guy like ken yeah ken uh, mix with ranbi with a tinge of <laughs> ranbir over it you know, like, you know so so which is which is okay hmm. uh you wanting to live that dream and god has blessed you to live that dream in different shapes and forms hmm. why not um uh, so yes of course there are some requests at times that uh, but yeah i think more or less it's 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 got to do with the uh, the location Lo- okay okay like if we shooting some strategic location how can we have an aerial view there where the drone is not allowed only so all those technical aspects we we try and handle it hmm. with uh, lots of uh, sos eventualities in mind okay what if we fly a drone and we not allowed to fly a drone okay hmm. they will confiscate we'll tell the client okay ye drone itne ka aate hain if at all it confess get confiscated you have to either get it released or just get yeah, us uh, a new, new one. one simple as that but we are happy flying it for you ah uh, theek hai but we will never take it uh, to a level that where it's dangerous to fly a drone okay huh. like a roof height is only 25 feet why would you want a drone you have to have an open surroundings to fly a drone mm-hmm. and stuff mm-hmm. like that so but but not really not not too yeah. much of these funny requests yeah. to be Ek, honest i think this would be the most common ki mujhe patla dekhna hai wo sab bolenge yeah. uh, that's, that's about true. it next uh in this only i have seen one thing that has been happening so much in the last 3 4 5 years now is pre wedding shoots yeah yeah i think they have gone to another level yeah. pre wedding post wedding baby hmm. har cheez itne bade scale pe hmm. hoti hai hmm. pre wedding shoots mujhe personally bahut hmm. uh cliche cliche lagti hai yeah, yeah. but kya hai ye trend sabko ek dusre se like you know it's it's a thing one upping they have done that i want to do this inhone apni shaadi pe aise kara mujhe ye karna hai ki that's human no that's human i mean what to do with pre weddings the entire wedding scenario if you say why would you need to have such an ostentatious wedding in the first place shall we ask ourselves yeah do we really need. really need to it's not a need it's, it's a want a, it's a want no so if we are catering to a market which is driven by i want this then you better don't end up questioning what they want ha jo hai kar rahe them what they want ha theek hai all right and what i've also tried to tell a lot of my fellow fraternity people also is try and understand you've been hired to render a service take it with full pride hmm. but also understand that that production is not happening for you <laughs> you are happening for the wedding don't try and brand yourself in such a huge position that you you end up trying throwing tantrums that you know what hmm. i don't want this or why is this happening and then i don't want to shoot like this or what is this and this is too demanding or people are on my feet. hello this is a wedding this is how it will happen you better get accustomed to it better get ways and nuances to move around it mm. but you have to just you are just there as a witnessing you are reflections of emotions this production is not happening for you you are reporting to the production mm-hmm. get that very straight and clear before you enter that field mm. i have seen a lot of people oh i will not do a 12 shot oh this is too cliche oh this is everybody does a 12 shot if my bride asked me today but i want to have a 12 shot you have said, to give yeah, it to her yes baby why not please have, have five 12 shots i'll give you other different angles of a 12 shot 
we'll, we'll take silhouette wall shot we'll take other kind of why not let her give what she dreams of yeah why do you okay why do we always want to create something this pursuit of some, creating something different what is this pursuit of creating something different why can't we be happy with something beautiful why can't we be happy with something that is timeless ageless classic hmm which may look similar to others but it's but it's beautiful in its own respects why can't we understand that love is the most mm. most beautiful most used term in this world but still most precious to us why do we want to experiment with something wicked around it and trying to give it a twist yaar yeah? hmm our films today our pictures today really don't give you a twist we do not claim that we are something out of the box <laughs> we do claim that we will give you happiness in consistency in this pursuit of wanting to try something different hmm. i am not wanting to take that one chance of that one wedding that might not turn out to be good hmm. because i have seen that happening with lots of other people okay in in the pursuit of wanting to create something different wanting to satisfy your own artistic sensibilities you have pushed that thing beyond the limit hmm that's true uh yeah why do that and at the cost of someone's day that will for god forbid doesn't come back again yeah he is wanting to live it and you wanting to experiment something do your experiments push your uh, artistic sensibilities and what you expect of your film to a certain limit yes don't be very um, orthodox also about it but at the same time please try and respect their emotions as the foremost thing their happiness is the foremost thing mm. this is what they would need and after you've achieved all that and then would you have the time to do something please go ahead and do that mm-hmm. but i've seen people that they start with the this thing no kuch alag kar kuch alag hi karna hai alag hi karna hai kyun yaar raj kapoor films they were very simple beautiful films yeah. you still uh, play them but they'll they'll play beautiful yeah they always give the, uh, always give that vibe home like ha kuch alag nahi hai but aapko dekhne mein acha lagta it'll connect to you bro. connect to it'll you it'll connect yeah. to you my mm. he was my first client mm. after 18 years his younger brother's daughter's wedding we shot after 18 years mm. so think about it why would a client repeat you after 18 years and i've shot almost all the events in their entire family birthdays anniversaries everything mm. which means you have consistently delivered your client something that they dreamt of or wanted mm-hmm. despite of everything that they were exposed to because of their lifestyles also they would have also seen lots of facebook of course, instagram yeah. pages ye bhi wo bhi ho raha sab kuch ho raha but somewhere you have to strike that chord and that can only happen when you connect with your client honestly hmm. so give them real give them what they want give them what they want at the same time also understand what they, they want, want. Ha, of course that is listen uh, to them no hmm. we are always wherever we sit we start sir main films aise banata hu main aise karta hu nahi yaar start the meeting with what do you aapko kya chahiye what is that you dream of hmm. what is that you want of your wedding film why are you getting a wedding film done <laughs> why are you getting your pictures done and then believe me that same question will have 100 different answers from all 100 different, different couples people, yeah. because they will have different priorities all of them someone will say because it's the most precious thing and i'm so connected with my father and i'm leaving them okay then you know that okay this girl is really yeah, connected with the father with yeah. the father there are a lot of contemporary brides who are who who like to celebrate who they are their individual uh lifestyles and how they've met and their journeys uh, started in new york dated in london and this is where we are great let's let's go for a pre-wed shoot in london mm-hmm. shoot give them the stories that they need that they value try and understand so you them. i'm sure you must have done like a lot of pre-wedding shoots outside of the country very right? many yeah yeah so the most important thing is to please try and understand that we come from a uh, let's respect that value system of that house hmm. that house is very patriarchal house let's respect that hmm. if there is something different why please respect but try and understand put your head and heart into understanding who your client is hmm. and that's the core 
for your existence we existed before instagram existed we existed before face groups existed and even after 20 years we are pretty much in demand because something we must be doing right and that something is only trying to understand what your client needs do you think uh, uh, instagram and f- uh, not facebook but instagram do you think it does assist now to the growth of yes. badal raja company because yes sir i i feel so too because uh, as i said so many people send me reels yeah. of uh, your uh, weddings that you have shot yeah. uh, that's so it's beautiful try to understand so so everything has has two faces to it so either you feed the instagram as as something like as as a monster that you have to feed it every day that my followers have to increase sorry or you take an instagram as as a support system to showcase your work to showcase the yeah. happiness that you've created to showcase a story that you've created for a couple and that's what reflects on your page as well i uh, have to say yeah. S- simplest let's Re- make it simple organic where, where do you like shooting the most if there's one state in india that you love capturing rajasthan it's rajasthan so beautiful and any property particular property that you love shooting udaipur uh, and it's 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 amazing yeah. it's magnificent because of water body and yeah uh, udaipur the fort the palace and so many beautiful properties all around all that around lake, that lake, lake yeah. pichola is like a dream destination no raffles but raffles is great we've started shooting in raffles this year only we shot two three events there but raffles is slightly off, off to the, the oh yeah, yeah yeah suddenly when you come to raffles you only come to raffles and you go back to delhi yeah. there's nothing udaipur about it to me <laughs> i want to come back to raffles <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful <laughs> but but uh, because i've spent uh, last 18 19 years shooting weddings in udaipur including that of maharaja saab of udaipur lakshraj singh ji mewar oh you've shot his yeah, oh his wedding. that's crazy yeah, yeah. i follow so, him a lot yeah okay so so i know what that what that city's vibe is all about what that culture is all about and till the time you're not interacting with the city being in the city in those water body you know that to and fro even that that is very beautiful after you finished your after party think about it 4 am you going back and that boat and that that beautiful lake pichola is talking to you boss yeah. that breeze has something different any time of the year that breeze is beautiful for sure even even when it's like peak summers even then if the lake is filled wo you feel that sham kitni suhani suhani hoti hai bilkul sham ab din mein kitni bhi garmi pade sham is around 25 20 degrees for you hmm that's great uh coming to my next question what is one wedding that you shot which is really really special to you other than the first wedding that you said what is one mm-hmm. wedding that you enjoyed shooting the most or that really meant something to you that would be lakshraj sir's wedding acha ha ha um so th- there will be many other weddings which are very close to my heart but this one specifically a also because i am a marwadi ha huh. so to see my cultures my traditions come alive uh, to that tea they actually formed a secretariat to execute the entire wedding they were wearing uh, clothes made out of than which was almost 100 150 years old to tradition and customs followed sare riti riwaj sare riti riwaj is disha mein baithna hai itne gram chawal is disha mein yahan bikherne hai wo sab likha hua tha they had we their entire wedding was spread into 70 events that lasted in one and a half years oh my god so it was a wedding <laughs> one and a half years one so and a like, half years oh from the first event to the last event from the nap das to the first event to the last event uh but believe me it's not just the magnanimity of that event it was how it was executed no tamjham of this present world the way weddings are celebrated nothing against them beautiful we enjoy all the weddings and the concerts and everything around yeah. the wedding concerts is the right concert is the word <laughs> yesterday pritham was performing and everybody looking at pritham and so so we we do not enjoy that moment as much huh. because there's just communication between the artist and and the pe- and pe- people guests, and at yeah. times i've seen uh, the couple being just one of the crowd exactly when there's a star performing like ranveer singh has performed so many times at our weddings and the, then i see crowd trampling 
वो तो खुद ही दुल्ला बन जाते हो इतना वहां पे पार्टी हाँ। कर रहा होता But but hats off to his energy. Hats off to his energy. I mean, worth every penny that you spend <laughs> yeah. on that guy because he brings that energy, he high energy in that venue. But venue. again, then he is the center of attention. Yeah. So for me, my star is my couple. Hmm. He's above all, and I want to treat them like that, uh, with that respect and that love. And suddenly, when I see that limelight being shared by any other star that's coming on the stage, it doesn't go well with me. So in that wedding, all this was not there. In the that wedding, no, 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 nothing of that sort. That wedding was so beautiful, so religiously executed, planned, lived. That man, uh, oh my God, yeah, yeah. When was this? This was twenty fourteen. Twenty fourteen. January they got married, and the event started twenty thirteen. <laughs> my God. I mean, with all that lavazma. जो चीजें हमारे राजे महाराजाओं के समय से होती थी तीन सौ आज साल देखने को मिलती है। वो आज देखने को मिल रही है ऑफ कोर्स बिकॉज दीज आर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रिचेस्ट रनिंग ऑफ दिस कंट्री बट इट्स गुड आई मीन दे डू प्रिजर्व आर ट्रेडिशन इज वेल यस सर दे डू आई थिंक इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट या टू सम एक्सटेंट इट इज आज हमारे लिए एक तलवार लेके हम वो एंट्री पे दूल्हा करता हाँ है लेकिन उसको पता भी है वो क्यों क्यों कर कर रहा रहा है है उसको पता पता नहीं वो क्यों कर है। लेकिन ये हमें पता है क्योंकि जब आप ये जब वेडिंग्स और सब देखते हैं और उधर जब गुरुजन सब आपको समझाते हैं कि भाई ये हमने आपका किला फतेह कर लिया है हाँ। और ये मेरी तलवार आपके दरवाजे पर उस पर लग गई हाँ लग गई है कि नाउ यू प्लीज गिव योर क्वीन टू मी बिकॉज आई वॉन योर फोर्ट सो ही विनिंग हर ओवर ही इज विनिंग द एंटायर थिंग That's what it means. Hmm. और जब इतने आप सब नाप दस्तूर करते हैं तो द मदर ऑफ द ब्राइड इज एक्चुअली मेजरिंग द चेस्ट इज ही मैन इनफ टू टेक माई डॉटर अच्छा या छाती कितनी चौड़ी है तो उससे पता लगता है ना अच्छा तभी वो रस्सी लेके वो ऐसे करते हाँ जी छाती कितनी चौड़ी है देखो ना ये मैं भी देखता हूँ हमारे फैमिली में बट पता नहीं क्यों करते हैं ये दैट्स क्रेजी Amazing. In the last uh, two years or so, how has uh, COVID impacted the work? So COVID did impact the work a lot. Huh. A, of course, wedding being canned first of all, not being organized only, and when they started happening, uh, they started happening in a very small section of. Uh, I was saying a small number of people. Like just thirty, forty people wedding, then fifty, then it number rose to hundred. Mm. But believe me, it was a blessing for us. For us as a filmmaker, lesser the number, the more beautiful you can capture capture emotions, journeys of people who really matter to you. Huh. Think about it at your own wedding, which you might have. Yeah, you're inviting five thousand people. Exactly. You don't know four thousand eight hundred people, by the way. You only know two hundred. You don't. People. You know what my dad told me. My dad. He said that you have a reception, etc. Keep whatever you have. That the wedding is there. Na, there are people who enjoy the wedding. They are the ones who are your family's hundred people. After that, you have the wedding. Where no one of the family members wants to take the wedding. What is going on? So the rest of the people who are there, what are they doing there? Imagine. And that's the most important, most beautiful ceremony, by the way. Exactly. I saw this wedding ceremony. 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 Exactly. I saw this wedding ढाई घंटे के फेरे थे मैं पहली बार किसी फेरों में बैठ के एक एक चीज सुनी पता है क्यों क्योंकि वो जो बोलना चाहता है ना उसका उन्होंने वन बाय वाज जस्ट ट्रांसलेटिंग एंड व्हेन यू हियर व्हाट दे से ड्यूरिंग द फेरास इट्स ब्यूटीफुल इट्स ब्यूटीफुल इट्स ब्यूटिफुल देट गिवन एस प्रॉपर कार्ड एंड ऑल द मीनिंग एंड एवरी दैट इंट्रैक्शन ऑल्सो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एक ना उसका भी आप आज इतना नवीनीकरण देखिए कि एक इतना ह्यूज ऑर्केस्ट्रा बैठ जाता है फिल्मी गाने चलते हैं <laughs> इन नजरों के दामन से और ये वो चल रहा है लाइक अरे सो इन ट्वेंटी इयर्स आल्सो वी हैव सीन दिस इंडस्ट्री ग्रो इनटू अ ब्यूटीफुल इंडस्ट्री बट आल्सो अनफॉर्चुनेटली एवरीथिंग हैज फ्लिप साइड टू इट दैट इट हैज गॉन ओवर एंड बियॉन्ड and somewhere deep down i do feel for it that yeah listen can we not make it more real can exactly. we not mellow it down for sure for sure can we make it something that that really stands for you who you are 
दैट्स वोट आई सेट ना हाउ पीपल हैव स्टार्टेड वन अपिंग कि मेरे इस नोन की शादी में पांच स्टार्स ने आके डांस करा तो मैं तो सात को बुलाऊंगा मैं पांच पे कैसे रुक जाऊं उन्होंने अब ये होटल बुक कराया इतने लोग आए तो मेरे को तो इतने कराने ये रेस बन गई एक तरीके की एंड इट्स अ फैक्ट ये मस्ट वी मस्ट टुगेदर एक्चुअली स्प्रेड दिस मैसेज आल्सो टू पीपल हु एवर इज लिसनिंग दैट लेट्स लेट्स ट्राई एंड मेक दिस वेडिंग अबाउट द वेडिंग ओनली यस यू नो अबाउट द मैरिज This marriage function has transformed into a wedding extravaganza. Award function. Three, four day. <laughs> Award function. Why will a an outsider host hold a mic and invite your guest? Yes, that's such a great Kyun thing to say. घर के लोगों को हिंदी अंग्रेजी सब बोलना आता है भैया. और उनको पता है कौन कौन है. उनको ना नाम याद करने की जरूरत पड़ रही है. और जब अगर आपके घर में आपके मामा ने अगर माइक पकड़ा हो या आपके चाची ने माइक पकड़ा हो और वो बुलाएं कि छोटू घर के नाम से बुलाएं ज्यादा मजा आता है अब तू चुप कर मुझे तो पता है तेरी तो दुल्हन आ गई अब तू कहा सुनेगा मेरी <laughs> ये बात आपकी चाची बोल सकती मामी बोल सकती है करण जोहर नहीं बोल सकता If we try and again look back to your wedding, ten years back, do you really enjoy because of all that you did in terms of extravaganza, or would you enjoy because all the light moments that you enjoyed during your wedding, yeah. uh, all that in-room party that you had with your friend? Exactly. That, those post, are your memories. Post no? party and post all party. That, those sure. are memories. Those are the real moments. Jo actual me ho re hain wahan pe. great one more question one thing i want you have done a uh, short like so many celebrity weddings and all also uh, you the kind of people yeah we've shot a lot of weddings they happen to be celebrities yeah, for yeah. sure yeah yeah, yeah. it's like yeah, celebrity yeah. weddings yeah. as well and also wh- what do you ever see like does this ever come to your mind throughout the journey in the last 20 years ki oh the the kind of people that i'm doing this for does it ever hit you ki i never imagined ki i'll be shooting this so i'll be doing this 100%. and the contacts that you make along 100%. this journey yes sir i think that's that's one of the biggest take back for me of meeting these extremely accomplished people yeah. extremely awe inspiring people mm-hmm. their journeys the way they interact with their guests the way th- their body language is around us how humble how modest how beautifully have they uh, orchestrated things around themselves hmm it's humbling to see how they function how, how they, they function yeah. i mean it's such an eye opener hmm look at that look at the way south india operates boss. for sure oh my god another level bangalore of simplicity hyderabad Oh, something to learn. North and South में ये तो, I mean ये divide तो मुझे दिल्ली लुधियाना में भी दिखता है। देखो लुधियाना ऐसा लगता है कि हरे लुधियाना में क्या-क्या होता है? यार लाइक दुनिया है पूरी की पूरी लुधियाना। और मुझे तो लुधियाना इतना warm लगता है। पहले हक से पहले तो बात ही नहीं होती। हाँ हाँ हाँ। First give me a chappi. Fit drink. Then we'll. Fit drink. अरे तो shoot कौन क Focus out of focus shots will be. Ah, man, I love Ludhiana. What <laughs> love it? <laughs> love every bit of there. it. Yeah. yeah. So it is. It is. Um, so coming back to what what you were asking is like. So yes, of course, extremely humbling this journey has been to be able to interact and meet these people who are on world map. Yeah. Uh, on a one to one basis, basis, them remembering your name is a, big, a big thing. thing. It's a big, big thing. Very big thing. thing. For sure. And then them coming back to you and saying thank you or giving a hug. is what's the biggest, biggest earning thing. of my lifetime great okay last two questions i have one is uh photography or videography as a job as a work i mean it's been a huge change in the last 5 10 15 years with everything the social media part and everything coming up do you still feel that if an If a normal guy goes up to his father and says कि मुझे फोटोग्राफर बनना है पापा मुझे नहीं करना है उनका रिएक्शन वो नहीं होएगा शायद जो वो लड़का चाहेगा इज दिस स्टिल देर नो नो इट्स चेंज इट्स चेंज ऑफकोर्स 
so now thanks to social media yeah. that he can open a page and show that look papa this guy was in x iam is now wedding photographer this guy an ex filmmaker is, is now, now a wedding, wedding photographer wedding filmmaker this guy an ex doctor has left his and doing this and now, now doing this and by the way is extremely successful because a father will always be consumed by the success that you want sure. to garner for sure for where, sure where he's not wrong huh. but this is such a well paying line too yeah exactly and if you're enjoying it believe me nothing better than this combination perfect combination yeah yeah any message you want to give out to <laughs> budding uh, photographers and videographers any piece of advice hmm that's it I would like to um, tell each and every one of you who's wanting to pursue this wedding film and photography as a career is that this is a very extremely hard working job but extremely enjoyable a job it's no more a job if you start loving it and please ask yourself this are you happy shooting almost the same looking rituals same looking sangeet same looking wedding every day without having to sleep more than 3 to 4 hours every day for almost 45 to 60 days at a stretch at an interval of 3 to 4 months every year and keep doing this for the next 15 to 20 years then you are in for a great job <laughs> <laughs> but that's the reality that's our truth because that's exactly what we've been doing but we are enjoying every bit of it very fresh very happy yes your commercial success will matter to you and it will happen if you start enjoying it the way all others are enjoying there's so many young and talented filmmakers and photographers whom i've seen in the last 10 years doing phenomenal jobs of yeah. it uh, carving a different niche for, for themselves. themselves so i'll tell you how this has worked out for them and so you know you attract energies yeah for so sure the whole universe mm-hmm. is made based out of energy yes so you attract the kind of crowd you want to attract hmm. if you are wanting to do something off beat you will still find People. takers for that off beat kind of film yeah. also if you're wanting to do something very traditional you will still have something uh, to with uh, do with uh, someone who will connect with those traditional values and sentiments of a wedding film what i have also realized it is over these years is you are reflections of the event but at the same time your films and photography are a huge reflection of the person you are also hmm. i have been born and brought up in a joint family lived all my life in a joint family working with my brother as a joint company has a huge role in shaping my films the way they are i really get attracted more to people who value life and value culture and value this whole family system the way indian families uh, rejoice and celebrate it i would not maybe connect much with a very contemporary looking couple who will come up with something really idealistic that is up with their uh, beliefs uh, belief hmm. but at the same time all these young budding photographers if are are kind of living in a nuclear setup and are meeting these youngsters have gone to fancy colleges and are connecting with them they will still have some bias there too hmm. so everyone has its own uh, energies to attract create but be very uh, honest to yourself yeah that's most important hmm. like i take all pride in saying that i'm a wedding photographer wedding filmmaker and this is what i do and yes i don't get to eat at times and yes these are the hardships yes apart from the fancy shit you there are also a lot of things where you need to take a lot of uh things at the pinch of salt you have to be silent you have to be quiet in a room nobody knows what's happening in that room people only know what's happening on the instagram page yeah. but what about the patience that is also required on a daily basis or a monthly basis to still be able to deliver and listen and still be able to maneuver and try and create happy moments mm. because please try and understand that father that brother is going through huge pressure also in wanting to create that for his sister daughter mm. hmm and in that spur of the moment your patience is way more required and expected than of them 
बट इफ देर यू फू ट्राई एंड एक्ट अरे यार ऐसे कैसे बोल दिया ये कैसे हो गया वो कैसे हो गया ऐसा नहीं हुआ नो ब्रो दैट वोट वर्क सो अज अमाउंट ऑफ पेशेंस विल ऑल्सो बी रिक्वायर्ड एंड शुड यू हैव ऑल दिस दिस इज द राइट प्लेस टू बी मेक लॉर्ड ऑफ मनी मेक लॉर्ड ऑफ मनी एंड ऑल्सो लॉर्ड ऑफ शादी का खाना जलेबी रबड़ी मतलब Exactly. You get to travel the world at the producer's cost. Get to travel at the best hotels. Yeah. Get to meet amazing celebrity performers. Get to live such a great lifestyle. Get to absorb such highly accomplished, successful people to take back for your own life lessons, yeah. which other profession in the world gives you this inside view of into the their most, lives, into their lives of the most successful people on planet Earth. please tell me any line that gives you gets you enter their bedrooms yeah. get to understand their emotions uh, emotions like everything. dynamics and you feel love first hand yeah. there is nothing that is dramatized yeah. film is all drama things are written you are asked to behave this asked is real. to cry in front of camera this is all real sir yeah. it doesn't get better than this yeah. and you get paid amazingly well for it if you're good at it nothing better nothing, nothing better. better nothing better चलो वील एम दिस ऑन दिस पॉडकास्ट ऑन दिस नोट इट वॉज ग्रेट हैविंग यू ग्रेट कॉन्वर्जेशन ग्रेट इन साइट थैंक यू एंड थैंक यू सो मच अगेन फॉर कमिंग बेस्ट फॉर दिस लवली एंड दैट यू आर पुटिंग अप दिस जेंटलमैन यंगस्टर्स लाइक यू आई मीन हाईली इनक्रेडिबल हाईली इम्प्रेस्ड विद द वे यू ऑर्केस्ट्रेटेड इट ऑल एंड टेक इन इट थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू ब्रो ग्रेट